Hello friends, uh, today I am going to teach you uh, how we solve homogeneous linear differential equation with constant coefficient. Uh, homogeneous uh, means y double dash minus 3y dash plus 2y is equal to 0. It means the right hand side value must be 0 or we can write in this form also d square minus 3d plus 2y is equal to 0 or sometimes we are writing d2y by dx square minus 3 dy by dx plus 2y is equal to 0 they can uh, give any form but main thing is uh, right hand side value must be 0 now I will explain you what is the procedure and how we solve the procedure is very simple. First step, replace y by 1, y dash by m, y double dash by m square, y triple dash by m cube and so on. Just replace whatever equation given, just replace y by 1, y dash by m, y double dash by m square, y triple dash by m cube, and so on. So, if you from 1, suppose uh, this is given equation, so what we get? y double dash means m square minus 3m plus 2 is equal to 0. Here we got this one. A second degree equation in m. Maybe some higher degree we can get. But definitely we will get one algebraic expression equation in terms of m. How we solve this? We can solve easy. Its roots, roots are 1 comma 2. Now, my friends, you know the nature of roots. A second degree equation having three types of nature. First, either roots are real and distinct. Second, roots, roots are real and equal. Third is Roots are imaginary. So we will discuss one by one. I will write the formula here. If roots are case first real and distinct say M is equal to M1, M2. We have two roots. One root is M1, one root is M2. Then, solution is Y is equal to C1 e to the power M1x plus C2 e to the power M2x. Suppose uh, we have a higher degree then definitely we have more than two roots suppose here m3 which is also real and distinct then solution is plus c3 e to the power m3x and so on so whenever roots are real and distinct then its uh, solution is in this form just your work is to put m1 and m2 value here same here This equation is known as auxiliary equation. Is complementary function in short CF is 
c1 e to the power x plus c2 e to the power 2x. Just we put it m1 and m2 value here. What is your m1 value? 1. What is your m2 value? 2. Correct. Now second case. What is second case? So second case means uh, when roots are real and equal. For example, we change the question. Y double dash minus 4Y dash plus 4Y is equal to 0. The auxiliary equation is how we write auxiliary equation? Same. Y double dash means m square minus 4m plus 4 is equal to 0. What is m value? 2 comma 2. Solution is when roots are real and equal. Real and equal. See, m is equal to m1 is equal to m2 means m1 and m2 both are equal and equal to m. In this case, when roots are equal, solution is always in this form c1 plus c2x e to the power mx. Suppose three roots are equal, then c1 plus c2x plus c3x is square. Four roots are equal, c1 plus c2x plus c3x is square plus c4x cube and so on. And outside always e to the power mx. So what is the solution here? Here two roots are equal. So c1 plus c2x e to the power 2x. Just we put it m value. Now case third. Case third is when roots are imaginary. Suppose we have this question. Then of the equation is 4 m plus 8 is equal to 0. What is m value? Minus 4 plus minus b square minus 4ac 32 by 2 16 minus 32 minus 16 means 4i by 2 minus 2 plus minus 2 by 2. So here roots are imaginary. When roots are imaginary, when roots are that is m is equal to alpha plus minus iota beta, then solution is e to the power alpha x c1 cos beta x plus c2 sin beta x just your work is to put alpha and beta value here so what is the solution here what is alpha value minus 2 what is beta value 2 If roots are purely imaginary, purely imaginary means minus 2 will be 0, then e to the power 0x becomes 1, so only this one remaining. So uh, these uh, three cases are very important. Uh, remaining all, if more than 2 degree equation is here, then you can do it by uh, same type. Suppose uh, uh, we have two questions.
common imaginary roots and common i will discuss now different different cases case fourth if m value we got one is m1 and second m2 is equal to m3 means one root is different and remaining two roots are equal and where m1 m2 m3 all are real where m1 m2 m3 all are real value then solution is for m1 c1 e to the power m1x because m2 and m3 equal and suppose a equal to alpha so this is c2 plus c3x e to the power alpha x correct what is case fifth if m is equal to alpha plus minus iota beta comma alpha plus minus iota beta means imaginary roots comes in pair then solution is y is equal to e to the power alpha x c1 plus c2 x cos beta x plus c3 plus c4 x sin beta x so in this way you can write a complementary function it play very important role because when you go for to calculate pi particular integral when the equation is non homogeneous complementary function means uh, play very important role so how we do again i am repeating first step write auxiliary equation how we write auxiliary equation just replace y by 1 y dash by m y double dash by m square and so on once you written all you got auxiliary equation then find its roots by any method by factorization method or sidra char method is your choice once you got the root then based on nature of roots already i written uh, all type solution just you have to put the values just put the values and you get the answer one more question i will do suppose question is a uh, d square plus a square of y is equal to 0 then the auxiliary equation is d square means m square plus a square is equal to 0 what is m value plus minus iota a so this is imaginary alpha part 0 so e to the power 0x becomes 1 C1. What is beta value? A cos a x plus c2 sin a x. So what is your solution? C1 cos a x plus c2 sin a x. This is sometimes we denote by y c. Y c means complementary function because this answer is known as complementary function. When you go for non-homogeneous equation, then that time we use this one. Thank you, and hope you will do. better thank you